Howdy folks, Carl Jorn here, Pioneer Agronomist for Northwest India and Northeast Illinois. Got a first glance agronomy thought for you here. As I've noticed, like many of you all have, uh, several fields in the area greening up or purpling up. I'd say well over half. They've got a pretty good crop of winter annual weeds established here this spring. And uh, many of you all might think that that's an issue for, for fields drying off after the wet stretch we've had or warming up as we prepare for soybean planting. And to that, I would agree. Uh, greater concern for me, though, is the impact that those, those weeds have on soybean cyst nematode management. Uh, believe it or not, uh, SCN as a pest uh, actually survives just as good and reproduces just as effectively, if not better, on henbit and purple dead nettle. So we're really building a nice nest for those nematodes to continue to increase their populations. They got pretty well established here over the last couple of growing seasons of nice dry stretches of weather. That leads to uh, more, uh, more increased survival rates for that pest. Uh, for those of you that are questioning whether or not you should give a hoot about SCN, thinking that that might be an issue in more uh, coarser textured soils uh, than what it is that you farm, I, I'd recommend that you take a quick look at um, at a study that Pioneer's done here as we had the, uh, the largest sampling effort ever conducted on uh, soybean cyst nematode here over the last several years in the area. Um, and the results were very surprising for many growers that didn't expect to see uh, significant populations for, for SCN. Um, in addition, if you don't think you got this issue because you've never seen it, you've never seen the yellow, the stunting of, of, of beans in your, um, in your the, the fields that you farm, um, you can have up to 30% loss on uh, soybean yields without having any visual symptoms. And so... Uh, 30% loss, that adds up to an awful lot of bushels if you're aiming for 60, 70, 80 bushel beans. And uh, I just want to submit to you the idea that uh, it's wise to manage those winter annuals um, in case we didn't get to that this fall. Uh, probably better to prioritize that here upon drying out if we haven't already made that spring burn down pass of, uh, of glyphosate and enlist one. Um, as you continue to think about active management decisions you can do to help decrease the impact of soybean cyst nematodes, I'd strongly consider that you, uh, you think about using a seed treatment as an option. And uh, the preferred seed treatment option for your Pioneer soybeans would be Elevo. Uh, we actually conducted several head-to-head -head studies, uh, I believe 40-some studies, um, comparing Elevo versus our standard treatment and Elevo versus another offering in the marketplace called Saltro. And the results of those studies uh, showed that uh, we had about a 1.8 bushel advantage versus Pioneer standard treatment using using Elevo at the SDS rate. So you think about that at $12 beans, all of a sudden one just one just had a $22 uh, increase to the top line. If you call it around a $10 investment, um, that's that's a two to one ROI, um, which is which is money that I think all of us would agree is is well spent. Um, so as you consider your options for how to manage uh, this pest that may or may not have been on your on your radar for soybean crop 2024, I'd encourage you to reach out to your pioneer sales professional um, because they they many of them do have that ability to customize that seed treatment recipe to fit the needs of your farm. Um, I know I I teased that we had done some head to head work against saltro treatments and in that. Uh, study. Uh, again, I believe it was 46 uh, locations where we had moderate to high soybean cyst nematode pressure. Uh, one could see a 1.1 bushel advantage for Pioneer beans treated with Alevo versus uh, the Cruiser Max Vibrance in addition to Saltro treatment. So uh, looking at a $13 win um, for your Alevo treated beans there. Thanks for tuning in to this First Glance Agronomy Thought. Uh, for more content like this, follow me on X at Cjorn, that's C-J-O-E-R-N, and on Facebook at Cjorn Agronomy. If you'd like a little further in-depth conversation, you can also check out our Pioneer Agronomy podcast that uh, is published weekly wherever podcasts are found uh, from the great state of Indiana. So with that, uh, I wish you well, and we will see you down the road. 
That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.